This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are different link types available in Crystal Reports, and we have explored inner and outer joins in the earlier module, but now we're going to see it in action. If we use the Employees with Shares report and visit the Database Expert, you can see the two tables that form this report, and then in the links, you can see the link between the Employees table and the Shares table. If you select this link, there is then an option on the right for Link Options that allows you to change the link to some degree. We can control the join type, whether it's an inner join, a left outer join, or a right outer join. We can control whether the join is enforced. Currently, it's not enforced. We can enforce from, enforce to, enforce both. Let's explore this enforcement idea. So at the minute we're not enforced, so OK, and OK takes us back to the report. The report has 160 records, which is made up of 160 share purchases by the relevant employees. If we remove all the fields from the shares table that existed on this report, so now none of the shares fields are being used, you can see no ticks there, suddenly the records jump to 389. That's all the employees, regardless of whether they have any shares or not, because the join is not being enforced for the report. Nothing from this table is used, it just refers to entries from this table, and we'll have everybody back, all 389 employees. If, in the database expert, however, we revisit that join, and enforce the two, OK, notice how you get a pointy arrow, one end, OK, and refresh the report. I now have 160 records because the join has been enforced between these two tables, regardless of the fact that the shares information is not being used. Sometimes you may want to enforce, sometimes you may not, but the ability is there. That's in the link options. Enforce the two, enforces the join to the shares table or enforce both, enforces the join both ways because it might have been that we just placed shares information on the report and nothing from the employees. Now changing the join type, currently there is an inner join which means we are seeing information from both sides of the tables where the two tables join. If we choose the left outer join, the table on the left, in this case the employees, we would see everybody from there and all the share purchases. That's OK. OK. Refresh. And now I see 498 records. So that's the 160 share purchases. So I can actually put those fields back in the details section. Move the labels back down to the paint group header. And because it's a left outer join, all the employees are in the report anyway, regardless of whether they have any share purchases or not. So that's what we'll find probably some of the later ones, where they have no share purchases. All these people have made no share purchases, but they still appear in the report because we've now changed the join to a left outer join. And again, sometimes that's what you want. So in the database expert, links. Link options by selecting the line and link options or double clicking the line. You can choose a left outer join. A right outer join would mean all the records from the shares table, so the table on the right of the relationship, and where they join to the employees table. Now in this particular database, all the shares are actually assigned to a purchaser, so you would see no different result between a right outer join and an inner join. But the left outer join would produce a different result because not all of the employees have bought shares. Inner join is the default. Okay, okay refresh and we're back to just where the two tables overlap each other so where the employees have bought shares so that's database expert links double click the adjoining link between any two tables and you can change the join type or the enforcement type 
if the joins are not on index fields, then the link type here can actually become applicable as well. But using index referencing, which is most of the time when joining links, we would leave that as equals. So it's just the join type or the enforcement type to change. OK, OK, OK to refresh the report. And any changes in the relationship that have caused a different result in the report will take effect.